Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. It's finally here, City Skylines 2. Uh, this is the first game that I've personally bought for myself, just for me, not for you, uh, in, in years. Uh, I have purchased other games which you know, I've reviewed for your benefit and whatnot, but this one is really for me. And I bought the most expensive version you could buy. I was so annoyed <laughs> to find out that it was coming out on uh, Game Pass on day one, which I've got as well. So I've wasted 70 quid on this game, sort of. At least I get to keep it forever. Um, and I have got absolutely everything. Typically, typically, the game launches the same week that I've got the probably the worst sinus infection I've had in years. Hence why I haven't put any videos out on this game yet. But uh, let's jump in. Let's take a look, shall we? I'm gonna, it's just going to be so relaxed, so slow and casual. I mean, just just chill out, guys. Just enjoy. Just enjoy the experience. Uh, five minutes seems a bit flipping regular. Let's do 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes. Let's look at the graphics. Screen resolution is completely blank. Let's put it on 4K, which is what I'm playing in. Full screen. Full screen windowed. Let's call it that. VC is on. Sorry about my voice. I blow my nose and within five minutes we're back to this. It's been like this for about nearly two weeks now. I'm just like... Uh. <laughs> but uh, at least my brain is half working now. Uh, right. Global graphics quality is set to high. Uh, so uh, that seems fine. Edge scrolling, day night visuals. I don't really like edge scrolling. I'm going to turn that off. Show tutorials. Yes, please. Interface. UI style. Dark grey orange. I'm going to go with that. Kind of like that more. Highlight unlocked. Chirper pop ups. Why not? Button style. 24 hour Celsius metric. That all sounds fine. Right, I think that's it. I think we are ready to start a new game. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I really am. Pathetic, isn't it? How do you get excited about a game? Don't be so silly. I am excited. Uh, Archipelago Haven. I nearly said heaven, but it's haven. Barrier Island. That looks fantastic. By the way, I haven't watched any gameplay footage on this at all. I totally wanted this to be... A, a vanilla experience for me. I won't be using mods or anything like that. That looks like a pair of breasts. <laughs> I'm obviously feeling better. Uh, the Great Highlands, that looks nice. Lakeland, that looks like a pain in the ass. Mountain Village, that looks awkward. River Delta, interesting. San Francisco, Sweeping Plains, Tampa, Tampa? Twin Mountains. Waterway Pass and Windy Fjords. I'm going to go with Barrier Island. Looks like it's already got some roads on it and stuff. Select that map. City name. Oh. Sinus City. Theme. North America. Let's go... Let's go European, actually. Left-hand traffic, yes, please. Natural disasters, yes. Uh, no, we're not going to cheat. We're going to do tutorials. We're going to start the game. Access to medical, police, and firefighter helicopters is granted by building the helipad upgrade on relevant city service buildings. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's an upgrade to an existing... Uh, What do you call them? Emergency service. Got there in the end. This is the place to build the city of your dreams. Take on in-depth challenges of managing city services and directing traffic flow and follow the lives of your citizens. Tutorials are here to guide you as you take your first steps towards building a city. 
As you progress, more hints and guidance become available in case you need it. Let's build. Before you start, let's look at how to move about your landscape by using camera controls. If at any time you feel like turning the tutorials off or on again, you can do so from the pause menu. The gear icon... The gear icon... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I lost my place. Uh, located in the top right corner, in the pause menu, you can also save your game and adjust all types of game settings. Let's get to work. Move the camera with WASD. Uh, rotate with E and Q. Zoom in and out. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow, look. Great job. You're now ready to start your first city. To guide you through your steps, we have prepared a task list for you. Start a task list by selecting play. So sorry. And complete the steps to unlock the feature. You will also see hints along the way. They point out useful information. You can proceed at your own pace and revisit any completed task by selecting play again. Right, one thing I won't do is put the game in maximum speed because that is just cheating. That really is cheating because if you generate £500 a week but you've got it in maximum speed, then by the same, you know, if I took half an hour to build the next section, the same as everybody else, then they're going to have £500 a week times. 52 weeks whereas I'm going to have a month's worth of money so it's a lot harder to do it at a casual pace and I like that, it's more of a challenge just to let you know what's going on I just want to take a quick look at this boat over here look at that it's really quite nicely modelled oh it's got audio as well No passengers on board, though, I notice. That's really quite cool. What is that hanging off the back? Oh, wow, it's got like a diving platform. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Road basics. Let's do it. A city exists around roads. When you build a road, a cell grid appears on the land next to it. This is where you can build on. Most roads also come with a built-in utility network. Most roads. A network of electric cables and pipes for water and sewage. So all buildings connected to a road with a utility network automatically have connection to the utilities. Not 100% sure if I like that or not. Because one of the complexities of the old game was trying to make sure that the water didn't get infected. I, I nearly threw my previous playthrough away because of that. One tiny little section, I mean literally half a millimetre of uh, pollution was getting into the water and it killed the whole city. You're never going to get that kind of experience in this game, so uh, I don't know if I like that or not yet. We'll see how it goes. Right. Roads come in different sizes and configurations, ranging from small alleys and one-way streets all the way to large highways. The larger the road, the higher the, the speed limit and traffic capacity. Yep. Two-lane road. The two-lane road is a basic road with two lanes, one in each direction, with street lamps on one side. It is easy to build with, but it can only support a low amount of traffic. When selecting a road, keep an eye on the information panel. It will show you how much the road costs to build and maintain, and how much electricity the built-in utility network can handle. Tool options. These can be used to help you build exactly how or what you want. Different options are available according to what you are currently building. Different modes help you build roads of varying shapes. Select the mode according to the shape that you want. You can always switch to a different mode at any time. Replace. This mode can be used to change any road you have already built to a different type. No need for the bulldozer. Turn replace mode on and select a new road type from the roads menu. When you select a section of existing road on the map, the new road type will be built in the old one's place. Keep an eye on how replacing traffic uh, how replacing affects traffic lanes and existing buildings. 
elevation up and down. You can construct tunnels at different elevations which allow them to cross each other. This is especially handy when creating public transport lines. Elevation up. Elevation step. Adjust how much the elevation changes when you use the up or down arrows. Okay, that's new. Parallel mode. This mode makes two of the selected roads run perfectly aligned next to each other. That's new. You can increase or decrease the space between the roads once you turn the mode on. Snapping. These options can help fine-tune the shape and placement of your roads. With snapping on, roads and other objects become magnetic to what snapping modes you have turned on. Okay. To get your city started, make and grow it. You will need to make it possible for both people and materials to arrive. Look around your map and find the roads that lead in and out of the map area. Start by building your city. Stop moving, please. Start by building your city by connecting to and expanding from these roads. Build your road with the left mouse button. When done, unselect the road tool with the right mouse button. Having good connections to the outside world is key to your success. Build a road. Okay, here we go then. Oh, hello. We've already got a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a bridge section here. Oh, we're getting 20, 22 FPS at the moment. Let's just try and boost that up a smidge. Let's go into options, graphics. And we'll go from high down to medium. Okay, that's. That's over 30 FPS now, so that seems to have improved things a bit. Right, so this appears to be four lane going down, oh no, two lanes going into two lanes, so that's fine. So what I might do then, I'm gonna have to get used to this. So that's gonna be a single lane road coming off there. Uh, I can't seem to change it to be one way yet. Maybe it's just too early. So what I'd like to do, oh, okay, this is in Britain now. That's going to confuse me for a bit. So it's even got speed limit on it. Though. It's a 50 mile an hour road. That. So what we'll have is we'll have a... Okay, that's nicer. I have a section of road that comes off here. I like the degrees thing that they've got here. So I'm just kind of, just feeling it out at the moment. I'm not trying to do anything too severe.
Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that quite a lot. Uh, is this an extension of this road? Okay, so that's not a hundred percent perfectly aligned like I wanted it to be. It's not a total disaster either. So I'd like all the heavy traffic to just pull off here, visit whoever they need to, come back in here and, and leave. That's kind of my thinking. Okay. Aeroplane flying overhead. Right. Zoning. Looks like we got a few extra colours. That's good, because I always felt it was a little bit behind itself. Uh, so that's going to be for housing. I don't want housing to be over there, to be honest. Uh, I want housing to be further down. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. And we're pervading some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. Tutorial's kind of getting in my way a little bit. I don't want to see that right now. wondering whether I'm going to have to make the same limitations and uh, expectations that uh, we had to do in the first one. Zones are divided into groups according to the types of buildings they allow for. This is your way to a lot different areas of the city for different uses. You could choose uh, which theme the zone buildings follow. This affects the visual style of buildings that get built in an area. You can change the theme at any time. Change will come into effect for any zoning you apply. Okay. Tool modes. Different tool modes help you shape your zones exactly the way you want. Yep. Low density housing. This zone is for single family homes. They have a positive effect on the resident's happiness, but can become expensive to live in when land values rise. Different job types and the availability of jobs affect the demand for different types of housing. Right, so I'm going to put some low density housing down. If you'd like to change an area that's already zoned, you can apply new zoning on top of the old. Okay. Condemned buildings will get automatically demolished over time. For a faster rebuild time, you can bulldoze them yourself. Okay. Let's talk about the water department. I don't know if I'm allowed to play music in this game anymore. It used to be okay, I'm not sure if it is anymore. They're probably trying to make money out of us on it or something, I don't know. Zoning commercial, okay, commercial zones. Provide space for different types of business uses. Uh... This type is for a single story or low rise building for small businesses. These businesses provide important to local services such as stores, restaurants and gas stations for citizens. Okay. Mm 
Pausing the simulation will temporarily stop time. This allows you to build a plan. I won't be doing that either. Once you're done, unpause the game to resume the flow of time so that life will continue. Okay. Is it? Is it? Yeah, okay, it's working out. Yep. Industrial zoning. Alrighty. This type of zone allows for all types of industrial manufacturing buildings and warehouses. Industrial companies process materials to create material goods, which can be further processed by uh, other industries, sold by commercial businesses, or used by city services. Okay. So, I'm going to place... zones so these bars give you an at glance info on what types of zones are currently needed in your city the full of the bar the higher the demand okay electricity almost everything in the city needs electricity to work a well working electricity grid keeps citizens happy and services running there is a variety of ways to generate electricity and each choice comes with its pros and cons. A small coal power plant is a great source of high voltage electricity but also generates a lot of pollution. Wind is a green energy but the output is completely reliant on weather. Electri electricity can also be imported from neighbouring cities by using power lines. Oh that's cool! I like how that works then. This requires no maintenance on your part, but buying electricity when the population grows can get expensive. Choose a source of electricity. Select the source of electricity you want to start with and close this panel to move on. Yeah, we're gonna, we are going to have... Oh my god, it's huge. Electricity Info View. Electricity Info View shows an overlay of electricity flow throughout the city to help you spot weaknesses and solve problems. Electricity Info View. That's how much is available. Okay. Electricity Info View show an overlay of electricity flow throughout the city to help you spot weaknesses and solve problems. Electricity panel also shows detailed information about the performance of the electricity grid, conditions that affect it, and where your electricity plants are located. Electricity flow is animated to show how much electricity is flowing and where it's going. Low amounts of electricity are shown as short bars. When the electricity flow increases, the bars grow longer. Individual buildings receive only the amount that they need. Most homes use only a small amount of electricity. There is a limit to how much electricity electric cables and power lines are able to transfer. When there is more electricity trying to flow through the cables and lines they handle, the electric grid will suffer and result in buildings not getting enough power. While electricity info view is active, you can hover over power lines and cables to see how much electricity is being transferred and how much the capacity is. When an electric cable or line has exceeded maximum capacity, a bottleneck will form. Bottlenecks will start to block electricity flow and cause buildings down the line to not receive electricity. To clear the bottleneck and resume electricity services, you will need to bypass the bottleneck by redirecting electricity flow. Electricity flow can be directed and diverted with power lines and transformer stations. Transformer stations can be placed in areas that need electricity and connect to the power plants with power lines. Gosh, there's a lot to learn. Every city needs good water network. Households, companies and industries all need water to operate and survive. When the water system is working well, citizens stay healthier and companies and services are able to operate without problems. Groundwater pumping stations can be used if your current city limits contain underground water deposits. Under 
Groundwater pumping stations are placed on the surface above the water deposit to provide clean water for the city. Water pumping stations can be used if your current city limits has access to open water. Water pumping stations are placed on the shoreline of any open water to provide clean water to the city. Is that the type of pumping station you want? Okay. Okay. I wish there, I wish there was a way to close this down because it is right in my way. I can't now read what this says. Uh, so this produces more water. I'm not sure if it's going to be safe to put it there. Water is flowing, there'll be fresh water throughout the city soon. Oh dear. Public stations need a road connection. Oh dear. Oh dear. Notification icons are shown to highlight different situations. Yep, I understand that. So now we need some sewage. A good sewage network is essential to a city. Sewage outlet. Let's hope that doesn't contaminate everybody. Contaminating the land already, look. We're going to have to move that at some point, but as a temporary solution, we'll rock and roll with that. Connecting the sewage outlet. Find the nearest road that has built-in utility network. Sewage pipe will be highlighted while the sewage pipe is selected and water sewage in view is active. Connect the sewage outlet to the road utility network with the pipe, sewage pipe. Highways don't have built-in utility networks. Okay. Oh, have I not done that? Okay, so there's some upgrades I can place on that, which is kind of cool. Uh, oh, okay, I have connected it to the sewage pipe. It's kind of cool, just seeing that working. Um, I think I'm going to have to move that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put... Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. This is Second Moon with 
J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dente section before entering the slower largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious antipasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain and begin. Uh, okay. That doesn't appear to have... It's telling me that something hasn't got road access. Is it this? No. That, that has got road access, right? I think that has road access. This doesn't appear to need road access. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, it's, what it was telling me. Right, anyway. Houses are being built. This first playthrough, I think, is just going to be a very much a, a casual experience. What is this guy doing? Trying to find his house. Okay, that's, that's cool. They've got out the car, they're going into the house. Well, you can actually see inside the house a bit. stuff on the roof. Right, okay, so it looks like it looks like things are starting to begin, as it were. Uh, so we've got three people living here. And uh, we've got a bit of cash, but we're losing money very, very, very quickly. There's not much else really that needs to happen over there. It does appear that we need more houses for people to live in, I think. Not the best place to live, and I made that rather wonky, but that's okay. Well, Stone Unlocked, Tiny Village, congratulations, your efforts are bearing fruit in your city has taken its first steps towards success. Progression panels, have a look. So we've got load limits, we've unlocked map tiles, city budget, city statistics, EU medium density row housing, NA medium density row housing, roads, loads of roads, healthcare, okay, loads of stuff. Absolutely loads of stuff. Milestones represent the growth of your city. Develop your city to reach the next milestone. City growth. Track how your city is growing and how far you have to go to reach the next milestone. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. This tracks the amount of expansion points you have. It shows how much you need to gain until you reach the next milestone. Yeah. Or XP points. Whenever you reach a new milestone, you'll receive money. Okay, cool. Uh, for each milestone reach, you will also be granted development points, which can be used to unlock advanced services. Oh, okay. Each milestone adds to your existing expansion permits. They are needed to expand the city borders. 
unlock features. Each milestone unlocks more features that allow you to build and expand your city in different ways. You can look through the list here. Okay. Okay. All right. density housing options now. Okay, let's see how that goes. These houses look quite nice. I'm assuming these cars are parked, yeah, there's people walking about. Wow, well, this is heavy on performance, isn't it? Really heavy on performance. Right, so there's no demand for anything at the moment. What's our next objective? Do I look at the next? Oh, here we go. Small village. Uh, so you just need XP. So it's not it's not about the number of people who live here anymore. Oh gosh. Development trees. Development trees allow you to access new service buildings and other buildable items from your city. You can unlock these assets by using development points. Roundabouts. That seems like a good idea. Parking areas. That also sounds like a good idea. Basic services will automatically unlock, be unlocked when you reach new milestones. The developer grow the service further, unlock the next item along the tree, and build it into your city. Each city service has its own development tree. You can focus on specific types. Oh, okay, that's cool. So these are roads. This is electricity. <coughs> This is better because it was very restricted, very linear before. We could sort of decide ourselves what order we want to build things in. I like that. Okay, I'm going to hold on to those points for a moment because this is very much a, an experimentation, gentle playthrough. So it looks like there's demand for uh, housing. Citizen happiness has increased. Well done us. Well done us. It's going to be a really fancy, expensive area to live, isn't it? I think. Well, I thought I built the road all the way up here. Obviously, I didn't. Okay. Got nearly a million. It is appalled at how healthcare is run in this city. Yeah, okay, I hear you. Healthcare, what's this? Good healthcare system helps prevent disease and untimely deaths by treating the sick and injured. Sick citizens visit clinics and hospitals for treatment on their own, or if they are in serious condition, an ambulance will be sent to pick them up. Medical clinics and hospitals have a set number of ambulances at their disposal. Okay. I need to build a medical building. Overlapping items. What is it overlapping? Oh, I see. Right, that made a lot of people happy. Garbage management. 
Good garbage management system would keep citizens ha healthier and happier. Garbage management facilities send out trucks that collect waste. Landfill is the basic garbage management facility. Okay, build a landfill. Is this landfill? What's this then? Landfill lot tool. Okay. So this is landfill. How big is this? It's actually going to be huge, isn't it? Rotates with the right mouse button. Okay. Um, so I think we're going to need to build a road. Coming off here. rotating now how do I rotate it or does it have to be that way around maybe it has to be that way around oh crap what's this I think possibly that's going to be a problem. So let's. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their ears to the more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Let us move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor, mm. uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary okay. soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps, eh? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some Modest desolation. Is the power line not connected? The end of the power line is not connected to the network. Does it have to be connected to the network?
Is that essential? I'm not sure that's essential. I think I've just I've just built that to get rid of the icon. I don't think it really was an essential part of the development. Right, so I'm thinking this is going to really restrict the amount of unnecessary traffic flow that we have because the only people who are going to come down here are the people who are trying to get to these houses or less. And the same with here and here and here. It's a bit of a weird system perhaps, but we have an overabundance of electricity production, so we're selling the excess. Okay, fine. As long as we can take it back whenever we want. Right, upgrading service buildings. Uh, okay, population increase, citizen happiness has increased. That's all XP. Um, vehicles in use, none of 10. Why? Why are there no vehicles in use? This is about upgrades. Yeah, I'm not really interested in upgrades. We have 10 employees. Or perhaps we don't have any garbage right now to collect. I don't know. Interesting. We'll have to keep an eye on that. It definitely feels different. <coughs> it's like, it's almost like a homage to the first game, but absolutely nothing is like the first game. It's, it's all going to be a new learning experience. There's a bit of commercial demand. Interesting. Okay. Cater for that. I think that's air, so I'm guessing that the level of pollution we produce over here is going to get blown over the city which is not necessarily ideal water pollution okay so we've got an underwater water underwater source there so it'd be interesting to see whether the pollution from this affects that bit of pollution coming out here bit of pollution there that never got moved well, this looks to be clean so we're okay for the moment noise pollution Yeah, I might want to get rid of that. It's sort of overstepping the mark a bit. That's supposed to be a shopping business more than anything else. These guys must hate living there. The air is getting polluted. Air pollution is affecting the health of citizens. Air pollution is created mainly by industrial zones. Some cities service buildings and by traffic. It spreads across the map in the air, affected by wind and weather, but fades away quickly once its source is removed. Find polluting city service buildings and consider upgrading them with filtering systems where you can or relocate the buildings. Ground pollution, air pollution. So there's a bit of air pollution here at the moment coming from this, which is hardly surprising. This will probably have to get moved. The people who live here probably can't live there. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see how much pollution is created from here. Not too bad at the moment. I think it's okay. I do feel sorry for these guys. Maybe I can... ...repurpose all these buildings and just make this... Uh, 
an area for shopping. I think that's a good idea. Right, so there's increased demand for uh, Okay, wasn't it? should help. Look at the road down the middle. We're going to leave that for something else though. Power keeps going out. This is ridiculous, does it? No, it shouldn't. We have plenty of electricity. So we're almost at the next progression point. Um, I wonder how do I get... Ah, here we go. Incinerator plant. We'll have to think about that at some point. Hospitals, crematoriums. Water treatment plant. Emergency battery station. Oh, that's pretty cool. Geo gas power plant. Lower pollution, that is. Okay. I'm starting to think about schools and police and things like that. Might get rid of this road altogether. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it there. It's a shopping area. Oh, 
Healthcare problems, huh? We've got three patients. Efficiency is 104%. What on earth are they complaining about? be fine. Event journal, followed citizens. Oh, you can keep tabs on particular citizens. Interesting. Population increase, citizen happiness increase. I think it's going pretty well. Smog is unbearable. Yeah, it's a shame the wind isn't blowing the other way. I guess you would imagine the wind doesn't always, always blow in the same direction. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. I was into Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps, yes. I like the radio Short stuff in the background. That's pretty like groovy. Yeah, what's going on with my hair? Yeah. discussing is the study of a statistical abstract and as it's crazy effect. and unwell as I am. Thank you, Professor. It is a question of priorities. Priorities. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Okay. So we'll just keep ticking over, I guess. Plenty of housing, loads of housing for people. I don't know what the problem is here. But I wonder if you could sort of say. Oh, produces beverages and vegetables. Okay. So I can't upgrade that building per se to make it cleaner. But I might be able to put sanctions in that stop 
these buildings from being so filthy and maybe encourage them to go and be somewhere else, if that makes sense. Not that big a square, is it? When you think about it. It's going to fill up really, really, really quickly. Right, we are almost at level two. I'm hoping that's going to unlock police and fire departments and stuff. Massive demand for housing. But there are housing options. Seem to connect to that road properly. Seem to connect to that building, uh, to that road. This is a bit concerning. Maybe it's this road. Okay, it must be this road. So that's going to be like a secret little lane that goes down there. It's just for the very, very rich. Oh, except this one's got traffic lights on and these ones haven't. So it's not quite the same road. All right, small village, milestone two unlocked. Uh, I'm going to wrap this episode up there, guys, because I'm still not feeling 100% and... Um, yeah, I'm a bit worn out, to be honest. <laughs> so um, I'm enjoying it. There's a lot to learn. I'm just going to take it really slowly and just play through and just try and learn all the new facets and stuff. Um, let's just look and see what I've unlocked. Low limit taxation, education and research. There you go, new development tree. Elementary schools, high schools and stuff. Uh, large village is coming up next and uh, I, was, I, was, I was hoping to get to Grand Village but yeah I'm not quite I'm not quite feeling 100% yet guys I'm going to wrap it up a bit early thank you for watching um, I hope you enjoy it um, it's just a very chilled out relaxed sort of play through at the moment I'm not trying to do anything too clever just get used to the game I suppose thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one until then take care goodbye for now